Thank you, ma'am. We've seen COVID over the last two years. It's been a pandemic. We've lost uh, perhaps 4 lakh people in India and about 3 million people worldwide. Global warming will be a deadlier pandemic in the longer term. Our population in 1900 was 1 1.6 billion on this earth. And in 2020, it's been 8 billion. This is totally unviable to continue at this pace of human activity. Every country has a share of cutting down on emissions to do. I'm happy that as a population, as different political parties, all of us agree that climate change is a problem, unlike our friends in the United States where climate change is a political issue. I'm happy, I'm happy that our Honorable Prime Minister made a pledge to cut emissions in Paris and we've also met our promise. I'm sure the increased promise in Glasgow, we are on the path to achieving that. As a person from Andhra Pradesh, I personally can pledge that we are in the forefront of the solar revolution and we are online to meet every deadline there is as far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned. And we have also started a new technology where all renewable energies come together in, in the name of pump storage technology where we don't need any battery storage system to sub, uh, supplement our renewable energies. The majority of our pollution today in the country is from industrial and power generation. I hope we can strengthen our pollution control boards in the state. And I hope Mr. Adiranjan Ji's uh, the relaxations he mentioned, which were given by the government, stand corrected. Deforestation is another major cause for climate, climate change. I have no doubt we've all seen what's going on in our constituencies. Forests and water seems to be the least of priorities as far as activity is concerned. They're all worried about essential services to our populations while we seem to neglect and ignore our forest resources and our water resources. I hope our government can have some dedicated satellites to pinpoint and protect our forest boundaries. And not only that, as far as rainwater flood flow is concerned, I hope our government can make fresh surveys, identify and retrieve land from occupations to preserve for our waterways, let it be streams, lakes, canals, or rivers, and even seas. And another major source of climate change is from methane coming from livestock. Thankfully, I think our country is better placed than most countries in the West as far as livestock is concerned, as livestock amongst Indians is part of our agriculture supplement, and it is more a life cycle than it is an exclusive farming. So I'm glad to say that we are Indians as far as methane uh, pollution from livestock is concerned. And the major source, as we all know, for the last 70 years or 100 years, major pollution for, for global warming is from motor vehicles. We have a solution down, electric vehicles. World over, it's been transforming in the last few years. India has done its share. But I don't think we have done it fast enough, and I don't think we are paying enough attention to transforming or to transitioning from a traditional fossil fuel to, tra to electric vehicles. I hope the government focuses and makes a time-bound program to move towards electrification of all kinds of vehicles, let it be freight or passenger. The next way or next uh, point of polluting or global warming is from cooking. We have made a huge stride in moving from uh, uh, wood cooking to LPG cooking. 
But even LPG cooking, though it's cleaner than wood or traditional timber, cook, uh, timber burning, LPG is still a form of combustion and it contributes uh, carbon dioxide towards glo global warming. Considering the latest or recent inventions or innovations in the solar technology, I request or I hope to pinpoint to the government that it is possible to invent a induction or an electric stove using solar cells, which can be standalone uh, solutions to each house along with a battery, where cooking can not only be clean, but also almost free cooking using our sunlight resource as a resource. This can save a majority of our uh, global warming uh, or climate change. Not only that, our dependency today on fossil fuel, either to motor vehicles or clean cooking, can almost come to a zero, helping our economy as such, as well as uh, keeping the environment cleaner. cleaner. And the other, and the other major contributor to global warming in India, I think, is garbage burning. We do not have any solution to our waste, which we generate, mainly in our villages, in rural areas, where the only way to dispose of today is by burning or alternative being dumping in the water bodies. It is a shame that we have, we have not addressed or we are unable to come uh, address the issue of uh, uh, you know, garbage management or waste management in rural areas. The only way, the only hope I had is from our Honorable Prime Minister's pledge to ban single-use plastic, which has taken a backseat since uh, COVID, I think. But I'd like to bring to the attention of the government that environment-friendly regulations, especially as far as single-use plastic is concerned, will also help in decentralized development. Plastic is sourced from a few suppliers. Perhaps we all know that Reliance Industries or Mr. Ambani is perhaps the major supplier of plastic in our country. The alternative being either paper or timber or wood can be sourced from a million, a million farmers where cottage industries can come into the picture, rural economies will have rural enterprises, uh, we can develop rural enterprises and pour life into villages, like instead of uh, a, a few suppliers or a few industries. I would also bring to light an example of lace chips, which is made by Pepsi. It is a shame that a company which is listed in the New York Stock Exchange has to make money of a small village in India in every corner. Only because there is no regulation on the packaging and they're openly polluting, you know, not just India, of course, the rest of the world. Versus the alternative in the past, maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago, all of us would have seen every village had a sweet meat, sweet meat shop made locally, laddu or so be it or whatever. It was made locally and consumed locally where there was not a single point of pollution. I hope we can regulate every single bit of single-use plastic, so which will help our rural economies, rural enterprise, and rural employment as such. My final plea is, all of us have to agree that climate change is a clear and present danger, and I hope we can all come together to prepare for, for our future generations. Not only that, our Prime Minister has made a commitment, like we all spoke about, to reduce carbon emissions by 1 billion tons by 2030, which I hope will be a reality, and I hope we'll see more plans to get there, getting there. And, uh, and also, his pledge by 2075 to reach ca carbon carbon neutral, um, and I hope this discussion will lead to more regulations, more laws, and we prioritize on environment and global warming, as so far it has taken a back seat in every way, and I hope we can make that a priority versus just development and economy. economy. Thank you very much. Rahul Shivalaji.